Hello everybody and welcome back to U-Boat. This is Dr. Obsidia and thanks for joining me today. Uh, last we left off we had wrecked a, a convoy that was traveling to this area and they are leaving the area still. We could probably detect them on Hydro if we went under here. We're going to investigate a single ship that is trailing behind the convoy. Um, currently we are not moving but uh, we'll get her underway here all ahead full. Um, but I think we're going to come up this way. And uh, see where the ship might be going. Because I'm not sure. I, I think actually this is this is the sub that was sunk. Oh, we have an incoming transition. Yeah, boy. Because if it's underwater, that was the sub that was uh, being attacked over here. So uh, just race over here and take a look. Yeah, see, this is about the area where that sub was. I mean, I don't see anything here. I'm assuming that we just kind of know where the uh, sub was. I could go underwater and take a listen, I guess, but uh, eh, this is about where it was last I remember. I reloaded the save here. I have a little bit of a problem with the save game um that's why i haven't uploaded a video the mods said that they were not matching the save so i checked to see if any mods were updated and it wasn't i mean maybe it was a hot fix or something that went through i didn't really look into that but that could be part of the reason but hopefully everything's stable it did give me a warning um we're gonna go ahead and head back into the black pit i'd rather not be outside the black pit uh, for very long. We do need to be inside traveling around. The state of our ship is we still have some deck gun ammo so we can use. We've still got a few torpedoes in the tube, not too many. Uh, but we're going to see how we do here. Let's get back to the black pit before we do anything else. Well, I decided just to stop and take a listen before heading out, and there is a ship to the north. We're going to go ahead and turn that way. We're going to go ahead and get underway here uh, and head up north. We'll just take a look and see. Something trailing that convoy right there. There's that big convoy that broke apart after we attacked it, and uh, they scattered. Which uh, allows U-boats to pick them off, too. Yeah, see this... Whatever this ship is, we're going to assume it's probably just a freighter just trying to race across the Atlantic. Let's put Eric Top on the uh, observation so we can get a better view here. Yeah, we got funnel smoke on the horizon. Okay, so we do have a ship here. They haven't seen us yet. Let's see if we can see what it is. Um, wow, well, I'm guessing that might be British. They haven't seen us. Let's go ahead and take her under. Periscope depth, please. Get on the observation scope. Um, Baron, I know you're on the valves. That's fine for now. Um, you get on the hydros get a good listen at this guy Legen Sie den Kurs an. 
You should be able to catch up to him. He looks like he's chugging along. Um. Yeah, we're going to keep detecting those too. That's going to be a little annoying. The angle here is not ideal. We'll see what it is. Okay, let's see what this is. Slow her down. Uh, Baron, we need you on the hydro, I said. Let's raise the scope up some. Okay, yeah, it is a British vessel. Now, the question is, does it have any guns? We don't have a lot of torpedoes. More than happy to surface and just blast it. Ah, can't see at this range. Well, we are kind of catching up to it. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Jawohl. This is a terrible shot now. Um, we're, we're assuming that it doesn't have any guns. These are too rough to be sure. Okay, there's the gun mount area. If it did have some, it doesn't have any. All right, let's go ahead and bring the boat up. We're going to run her down here. Probably should have had somebody there. Yeah, I'm not seeing any guns on her. We're going to just blast her with a deck gun to save some ammo. Uh, some of the torpedoes, I think. It's probably the best call. All right, uh, why don't you go to bed? I hate how this doesn't click perfectly. Down here, it doesn't. <laughs> Get on the deck gun. Watch uh, observation there. We need to sink her quick. And drop down to... Just one, I think. One will still give us the uh, bonus of all gears unlocked. Just the fuel use, but we don't care about that right now. Yep. Enemy ship. Empire Bell. The Mont Lewis. We're going to come right up alongside her. She's probably panicked right now with the U-boat rolling in on her. Uh, we're far enough away from land. I don't think we have to worry about an aircraft very soon. Does she have a burn mark on her side of her? just a shadow. I guess it's just a shadow. Alright, we've got AP rounds, uh, 24, well, 25, uh, and then 30, 39 uh, in storage, so there's no reason, I think, not to get up right next to her. We'll save ammo this way, because we still got a long patrol in front of us, and we like to maximize the use of these guns. We also have our flat guns, too, if we want to drill a thousand holes in this thing. He's kind of turning hard. Let's slow her down to half. All right, there we go. Starting to get a good profile of this ship. Let's put some rounds into her. I'd like to get below the waterline if possible. That'll help save some rounds. It's gonna be hard with these waves though. Oh, ah, the wave. Look at how much this is shaking the ship. 
Hopefully the waves are causing trouble for her. She's gonna ride. Okay, we'll take the fire. Pop a couple in the back. She looks like she might be having a lot of trouble right now. Splashed it. Oh, that fire spread to the back, too. Ooh, her rudder's coming out of the water. She's in big trouble now. I think we can hold off. Probably slowing down a bit too. All ahead, slow. Straighten us out some, come near the front of this thing. The fire. Yeah, she's putting out lifeboats, so they're not even going to fight that fire. That fire should uh, finish her off. That was easy. around the front over here. Yep. So müde. Zeit für eine Pause. We'll come dead slow in here. They interact with the lifeboats. We'll take the uh, captain and the engineer on board. And that ship's gone. All right, let's get underway back towards the Black Pit. We just detected smoke over the horizon, so we're going to turn around and investigate. They won't let us get back to the Black Pit. <laughs> I assume they're probably going this way as well. Or is he coming back? Let's mark him. We are moving too, but... All right, so he's coming this way, it looks like. So this actually could be a neutral vessel, so let's just come south. There. Go to bed. We're getting pretty close. We're going to take her under. I don't want to trip over some kind of warship by mistake. Let's slow down a bit. All ahead dead slow. Just to keep our bearing. Alright, let's just all stop. I think we're okay. What do we got? We do want to put uh, Baron back on the hydros just to see if there's anything else in the area here. Torpedo, alarm! Auf Gefechtsstation! Well. Let him get in, in sight a little bit more here. There we go. Much easier just to click and look. Oh, ooh. All right. I think uh, it's not a Liberty. Oh, what is this thing? I forgot. <laughs> it's been a while. Forgot what it is. I'll recognize it. Yeah, the C3. Okay. That's what I'm thinking this is. Uh, these things tend to have guns on them. Uh, they definitely have gun mounts. 
Is that a gun sitting on there? It looks like it does have guns, in fact. I think that's what that is. So we want to be careful with this this guy. Uh, make sure that we plot out his uh, course well. And uh, try to sink it with a single... Let's put you on the uh, attack. Whoops. And you on the observation. And I'll head dead slow. Moving along at a pretty good clip, and it's pretty hard to see him. Get a bit of blurring on this. I'm not sure if that's just uh, the weather. Or if that's that texture error. Alright, angle on bow. Or off of his bow, I guess. Here we go. We're 80 degrees. We're off his right bow, we're at 80 degrees. Probably closer to 81 or 82 at this point. Distance. I see that kind of blurring effect. I wonder if that's that texture. Good nautical miles. Uh, that looks about right. All right. Do we have any tubes war? We do not. Okay, a G70. Let me take a look at this ship here. Draw is 7.3 meters. You can hit him below the waterline quite a bit, I think. And I would hate to send a unwarmed torpedo. How close is he to 90 degrees? Close enough that I probably would want to just fire it without waiting. All right, torpedo to A. We'll send it slow. We'll put the depth at, uh, say, 6.5 meters. Let's hope we set that up right. Los! Los! All ahead half, straighten her out. He's, she's going pretty quick here. 12 knots. Yeah, she's, she's she knows we're in the area. But she's not playing around. That is a total miss. I think we overcompensated her speed, maybe? No, they, they guessed 12. Looks right. Yeah, they're they're predicting uh, the hit chance there, right in front of her. So it wasn't that far off. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Bestätigt. Right. We'll fire another one. That's six point five meters. This one we can't adjust. It's a G seven E. Why don't you at least get on that other tube? Close. Close. The chance of hitting with this are a little bit higher, 78%. So that's better. That one looks like it might be a miss. 
40 Sekunden bis Torpedo einschlägt. Ja. 20 Sekunden. Ei, ei, Herr Kaloi. 10 Sekunden bis Einschlag. Our team is terrible. Last torpedo. Would like to get this uh, at least hit. We're trusting our gunner, our, our crew now. To get this hit. I mean, we were right close there. I don't know if he's adjusting his speed or something. Let's bring the torpedo up a little bit. Los. The angle is pretty steep on this one. We'll see how it goes. But it is warmed, so it's got the best chance. So this is a 90-some percent chance to hit. Yeah, he does have guns. There's nothing we can do if this if this torpedo doesn't uh, cause some serious damage. Did we miss this one too? Oh, scrape the front of the boat. I wonder why we missed that each time. We had uh, first chance. I mean, I, when I unleashed the unleashed, when I released the uh, the you know the statistics here that we put in the coefficients, whatever that uh, it was actually pretty close to what we had already guessed. And then uh, they're at 100 percent now. Uh, we fired at like 97 percent, so there's no reason we should have missed. Um, it's not necessarily taking evasive maneuvers. See, it was just uh, for some reason. I'm just gonna go with a. Uh, it was a bad shot. <laughs> I don't know that he was doing anything other than just racing off, and our guys just straight up missed. I missed, and uh, all my guys missed twice as well. But I did confirm my numbers with them, so yeah, I don't know. There's nothing we can do about it. That C3 is on its way. All right, well, we're headed to the Black Pit. We have no torpedoes left. That was a terrible crisis. Go ahead and put Klug here. We'll put uh, Top probably to bed. Oh, let's put the first officer to bed. We have another, another ship down here. Let's get to the surface and all ahead full. Now we're on the surface attacking everything. So if we see anything bad, we're diving deep and running. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. We already reported that one. So at least we reported off. Maybe another will pick it up. All right, so what do we got here? We'll just zoom in. Uh, looks like an Argentinian ship. Uh, course looks like, uh, well, I think we're gonna go talk to him. That almost looks like it turned, didn't it? He's like, uh-oh, there's a U-boat coming. We're gonna pretend we're going this way. Not quite straight. There we go. Now this one actually could be heading to France. Run the English channels a neutral ship? Sure, why not? Turn on our compressor here. Uh, he's running pretty parallel to this line. Can't believe he just shot three torpedoes, one of which was warmed up. Oh, straighten out there. Target's too far. We're going to slow her down. All ahead. Dead slow. Interact here. Let me try that again. It says uh, neutral flag.
if I speak Spanish? No, we do have uh, Eric Top who speaks English, and it's possible they could speak English, so we'll go ahead and send Top. We'll send our Merchant just in case, because he can uh, kind of figure out what's going on over there. Maybe the Navigator as well. Oops, Top. Top, take a helmet to protect you. Klug, why don't you take a helmet as well? And Weber, you carry the rifle. Well... And we're going to take a full compliment over there. What do you need, officer? Your, uh, your crew faces a cold welcome. What do you want? Oh, he speaks German. This is a neutral ship. You shouldn't be here. Um, I'm going to search the hold. Nothing suspicious. What are they transporting? Spare replacement parts. That may actually be going to us. <laughs> we may have stopped. That may be why um, he's not happy about that. We'll meet the captain. Check the shipping documents. Uh... Let's see. Directed at Port Vigo. Port Vigo. I'm gonna put some pressure on him. Get prepared to raise an eyebrow and denies anything's wrong. State the confidence. That, yeah, the merchant could mention that. We'll let the navigator point that out. And without any hesitation, goes for the map and shows you this course sex. He seems to be correct. What? I mean, unless he turns south, he's... Oh, wait, Port Vigo. I thought Port Vigo was to the south. Can I... Let's see. Okay, the merchant says this. He seems to be right. All right. Well... Port Vigo... is down here. But where does he think he's going? That's the thing I don't understand. If he's going to Port Vigo, why is he running this way? You know what I mean? He He's running along here. It looks like he may be going for the English Channel. Why wouldn't he be headed south? Oh, we're pretty far past it all stopped. I guess we brought the crew back. Ah, I'm not sure where he's headed. I don't think it's Port Vigo. He spoke German. Um, he, my navigator and, and merchant both called him out on it. Um, but neither of them seem to have any problem with this course. I don't know, what do you guys think? Well, if we... chart his course yeah I mean I was pretty close to it so we see where that's pointed uh, we can clearly see he's making way for the English Channel not Port Vigo he would have to turn almost due south to get there and even then he, he'd have to kind of if he continues his course now he was he doing gonna loop around Ooh, I really feel like he's going but I mean there's there's ports Portsmouth port here
we're sending them guys back over. We're gonna tell them to abandon ship. I I'm nervous because why would our my crew agree? Oh yeah, that seems to be right. It doesn't seem to be right. Look at the direction he's going. Get off this boat. He's not happy about it. What are we going to do in the deck house? We're just hanging out. <laughs> We're going to sink this place. Let's just look around a little bit. All right. Let's come up alongside her. Actually, we, we can probably just bring it to an all stop here. Up to the deck gun. Sorry, I have no idea where you guys are going, but I don't like it wherever it is. It just doesn't seem right to me. Anything in the black pit going east, I'm suspicious of. I'm nervous because everything seemed in order except his route, you know? Even my officers were like, sure, we'll buy that. I'm like, wait a minute. Eric Top doesn't buy it, though. I just don't believe that's where you're going. Don't fire till you see the reds of their hull. No, oh, he's... Yeah, he's done. These names don't seem uh, very. Here, Desmond Becker, or Baynard Mayer, Ronald Shamoin, Sh Shamon. These names don't seem very uh, Argentinian to me. Leonard Cole, Peter Poser, Gerald Beck. <laughs> it's like okay, I guess maybe they are, but <laughs> doesn't seem very uh, very realistic. All right. Back to the black pit, I guess. All ahead, uh, three quarters. There is an aircraft detected right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get under crash dive. Looks like we got under in time. I'm not gonna go too deep. Let's just go 50 meters. We don't know if they found us. It is a little suspicious the aircraft showed up on a neutral vessel. I mean, we are we have been sinking stuff in the area though, so no surprises there, I guess, in the end. Go ahead and blue light. Just trying to get back to the black pit. We'll stay under for a while here. All right, we're in the black pit now. Large propeller noise. There's really no way we can deal with this. Yeah, I'm not even going to mess with that. I might mess with. 
that propeller noise over there uh, on the right to the east of us. I don't have any torpedoes left. My only hope is to hit surface, uh, you know, hit ships on the surface uh, with the deck gun. All right, let's bring her to the surface here. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Little smoke. It is possible that that aircraft did pick us up on uh, the radio frequency. We were radioing off quite a bit. We just did again. This one's going to cross our path. We might as well submerge and wait for it. Periscope depth, please. I'll stop. See what this is. Another neutral ship. I guess he's not even looking at it yet. Torpedo course berechnen. There we go. Can't even tell. <laughs> the light's blinding us and the angle of the ship is blinding us as well. Okay. Now the question is, does it have any guns? I'm not seeing anything. We'll go ahead and surface the boat right now. I'll add half. On the compressor. Top on the deck gun. We gotta get this ship down too quick. We do have an aircraft in the area. Want to come alongside her? All head full. Put the in... Yeah, well... He needs at least one. There we go. Put the radio operator to bed. He looked pretty exhausted as well. Don't want to ram it. No gun mounts. Uh, no guns on the mounts, I mean. The reason I'm driving, or steering directly towards it is I will come around behind it. I'm not fast enough to, uh... <laughs> hit him. At this range. Alright, let's put some shells into the back of him here. As we'll, we'll sink him from the stir stern... Let's slow her down a little bit. All ahead slow. Ah, that was a water hit. These waves, I'm telling you. Legen Sie den 
All ahead, half. What was that? Oh, they're firing at it. Don't waste my shells. Probably because the uh, top is targeting it, too. All right. Top, why don't you stop targeting it? Put a shell in there for anybody who's trying to fight that fire. shell near the front to make sure there's some ventilation up there and uh, let's pass a little time here see what happens is he underway with his tail in the water yes he still is okay no 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 he's sending out lifeboats all the heads dead slow Donald Stewart. I think he's done. Yeah, that took him under. Let Top send off the radio message this time. Red light. All right. Good kill. In the black pit, too. That's what we want. Let's head north. Oh, I had three quarters. Save us some fuel here for that long return home trip around the north of England. We'll probably just quick, uh, what, quick travel that, since it's, we're going to go the safe way. Why don't we put you to bed? All right, I'll let you know when I find something here. All right, well, I've just been diving down, searching over and over and over again. And uh, I did it probably 15 times in the remaining of the patrol. Never heard a thing. Not a peep out here. I'm going to start heading back north here, kind of the direction, just to see. Um, I've been looking all over up here. Haven't heard a thing. Take a listen. Um, nothing. Well, it's not like we have any torpedoes left, so... Um, it might not be worth it to really mess around near the coast of uh, United Kingdom. We may investigate a destroyer and then be in big trouble. Alright, we're going to head back. I'm assuming five days it takes to get around the top there. Uh, playing it extremely safe is probably what they're assuming. Ah, back to our old port, Wilhelmshaven. Hey, you guys have helped my pronunciation a little bit. I'm not quite the idiot I used to be. <laughs> you learn something new every day. All right. Shrine. The U-boat uh, badge there. Weber on his way to a Knight's Cross. Uh, Knight's Cross with oak leaves well on our way there, Eric Top. All right, the Black Pit. Sunk the uh, Stuart there. That's it. Unfortunately, couldn't find anything else. Did sink a lot of other stuff, though. Um, 
I guess I, I just blew, blew past that uh, one ship. You guys could uh, pause it and see what happened. But we'll go ahead and, and see here. Uh, Canadian flag. Oh, that there it is right there. It was registered to Canada, but the crew used a flag of Argentina. Ah, so... Why we need to, like, talk to my navigator here. Uh, he's not going to the Port of Vigo, because, uh... <laughs> Port of Vigo is south? What were you thinking? Uh, and we did get the war correspondent as well, so... Uh, we missed that C3, I regret that. That would have been a nice hit and kill, but uh, it's alright. Okay. So, our engineer here, Gange, I, I guess I may mispronounce that now too. Jorgen Gange. 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 I don't know. Gange. Ga Ga Gange. <laughs> uh, Mr. Gange here with my terrible pronunciation. Um, Handyman? I mean, he is the uh, engine specialist. We could make him a salvager. I mean, engine specialist usually has something to do at all times, which is basically operate the engines. Um, ooh. Let's make him a sapper. Yeah. Because we don't necessarily need engines when we're boarding enemy ships. That's going to be fun. That way we don't have to waste our deck gun ammo and stuff. We'll make him a sapper. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had a sapper before. Are decals diesel compressors on? Still? Alright. I believe Klug is our merchant here. We need to get that started. Uh, show me what you got here. First things first, fuel. Top her off. We need ammo on the deck gun. Black is pretty good. Uh, probably use some more AP rounds though. And of course, we're gonna need a bunch of torpedoes. Stern tube, we're gonna put a T1. Bow tube. We like the T1s right now. They're pretty reliable. They're fast. But they've got some options. They do leave that trail of bubbles. Definitely going to want some uh, G7Es, though. Food. We can top off the food here as well. Cheese. All the rest looks okay. Um, we do have a slot. Take more coffee, maybe. All right. That's going to take five days to do. Our leading officer here is doing the headquarters. Task completed. Improved toilets. All right. Um, so on our decoys, we're not really in too much danger right now. I, I mean... I guess we could put an engineer on that for the next 12 days. I'd hate to send Bender out. Um, no, no, maybe we'll hold off. It's gonna double. 24, well, 12 days for the Matox radars. Uh, so we 24, it's not too bad. I don't know if anything else is worth it. We could send them out. There's 32 days for the G7E torpedo. go for the military stash. Let's send our leader out for military stash. Forced again. That's what we got him for. 
He'll probably be done before we're done at port. Uh, Clug, go upgrade our toilets so that we don't sink our ship. Uh, I think they're up here. Actually, the toilets are right here, right? Like the toilet right there. I believe. Um, oh, maybe here? Okay. Improved hydraulics helps morale. Yeah. One day. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to pass some time here. Uh, better turn in the prisoners. Prisoners. Brought survivors. We're not technically freeing them. We're freeing them into custody. <laughs> so they can be debriefed. And then we're going to let them live comfortably for uh, some amount of time. All right, five days. Everybody ran downstairs during the rainstorm. That was funny. Uh, all right. Glug. We still need to load stuff up. Whoops. Third tube, another T1 is probably good. G7A. Type 1. Uh, we'll put some G7Es in the back here. And uh, G7As as well. Two days left. Goodbye. One day. I wonder how much time is left on that. One day and 15 minutes. All right, there's really no reason for us to wait for that. Um, well. Let's just see what's, uh, oh, not what's new in the headquarters. Let's see if there's any orders first. Let's see what we got here. Um, Black Pit, Black Pit, Scapa Flow, and Ava. Oh. We can move to the La Rochelle and avoid this mess right here. Um, he's basically gave the Kriegs, yeah, Kriegs Marine. That's where we want to go, help down there. We do get a small reward for that. All we have to do is go over there. That's it. Easy enough if we loop around the top. Uh, taking any targets of opportunity. We don't need to run the English Channel when we're looking for enemy ships. So uh, I think we're going to do this one. Relocate. Then we can avoid the English Channel altogether. And maybe even run some missions way down here. Without worrying about uh, going all the way back to Wilhelmshaven. I'm saying it slow. <laughs> so I get it right. Or sort of right. Anyway. Uh... Wilhelmshaven has been an adventure for us, but uh, I think it might be time to relocate. Don't worry about our leader. Uh, he's on a military mission. He'll take the train, catch up with the sub later, but it will give us time just to head down there, and then uh, we'll get down there and restart our missions uh, in the uh, Admiralty at the headquarters, and then we'll be able to head out to the Black Pit again or some other area around there to work on that campaign goal. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Hope you enjoyed the episode. In the next one, we're going to be uh, heading for the Black Pit. Well, heading for La Rochelle, and then probably heading to the Black Pit. That's the plan. All right. Thanks for joining, everybody. Uh, take care. See you in the next episode. Peace out.